Hi, have you seen what my son did to me? Nightstand lamp. As you can see, I need to change the lamp base of stand and the lamp shade. Keep watching and see how I do that. I'm Juliet Megui, and on this channel, I share with you my life hacks and DIY home decor. For this lampshade, we are reusing the frame. So we're using the rings and these three pins for the side. To connect them, we're using the Gorilla glue again with the water. We will of course need fabric for the shade. And we're using this adhesive for it. We'll use this wooden stick to tuck in the fabric onto the frame. We might need clips for that. And of course, the original electrical part of the lamp. I hope your lampshade frame was already connected with a wire from the base to the top. Mine wasn't. It had the, the white one, the cream one that was destroyed was the plastic covered fabric. So in my case, I have to replace that. And so I'm using these wooden pins. And these wooden pins, I need to connect them like this to the top. The good thing is we're going to have a totally different looking lampshade, something taller, something a little masculine for some. So let me show you what we're doing. We'll do the same for all three pins, but let me show you this one. For this glue, Gorilla Glue, they say you need to dampen one of the surfaces. And in my case, I think it's easier to dampen the wood. So I'm using the brush. And dampening it. They say don't put water in there, in the glue. This helps cure, cure the glue. And then you put glue in both surfaces. And this is just a little, not too much. Don't overdo it. It expands. I've never used it before. I did this time and it actually expands. And I'm going to put it in like this. And you'll notice in my case, I can't use clips. So I'm going to use this, improvise, and use this to help it stand. To help it stand and it will dry in two hours. I know that's a long time, but it will dry in two hours. But I love the result because it's strong and neat. This is how the frame turned out after drying. So now we're going to put the fabric and I was supposed to use the spray adhesive or the spray glue. I have decided to use them. I've decided it's easier to use Sorry, to use the double tape. I remember that I had this because all I need to do is put the tape here and turn it in, turn it in, turn it in. So all I need to do is just from the edge, keep pushing it. Rolling it down. I'm trying to do step by step so that 
he doesn't go out of there doesn't wrinkle thankfully this is clear so even if this part is coming out once we put it in it won't be noticeable we have put tape all around the double-sided tape and now we're going to begin by fixing one of the sides to the frame and we're going to do it bit by bit as we open bit by bit going to put it in there we'll keep opening fixing it to the frame fixing it to the frame So that as we roll it to do the top, this will be firm and it will help us get a firm side. Okay, and then we're going to open this bit by bit as we roll it on the wire, on the ring and make it firm. And we'll go all the way around to the end as we pull it out like this. Keep pulling to get all the way around and do the same on the other side. After taking the tape all around and opening it up, pulling it out, this is how the shade has turned out. Just need to show you now how it looks with a stand. As you saw, my son's lamp is fully broken, gone. So we need to use unbreakable items this time. And we're going to use the wooden base, the rattan basket, plastic, the Gorilla Glue to join the two and water to dampen one of the surfaces as is required for the Gorilla Glue. Before we attach the base, for this one, we need to put in the electrical before that. So I drilled a hole this size for the cable. You can cut, but this one was a little hard. It was easier to drill through. And I'm trying to do this side so that this label doesn't show. So it's at the back. And then I also drilled this one at the top that will help me put back this lamp. So I'm going to do that now. Then I can show you how to attach this base. I have attached and put in the electrical bit through. Now I need to attach this base. Remember we're using Godzilla and Godzilla requires that we make one of the surfaces done. We are going now to put in the glue. This one doesn't need a thick layer. I'm now just going to align this with the base and give it a chance to dry. Put some weights, put it on the side, let it dry. We have finished. Here is our kit proof, sunproof, nice stand lamp. So we just now need to put the lamp shape on the lamp stand. We put it in there. Lock in the shade and if, then the bulb. And if all this, you've learned something,
please subscribe and press the notification button and keep watching after I finish here because I'll show you how it looks in my son's room and there it is there is our night sun lamp god bless you barakatele keep watching <laughs>